Hi, I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I'm referred to as The Big Game Hunter because I've been hunting down leaders and staff for organizations for more than 40 years, helping businesses grow in a variety of ways, including coaching them to success. I want to talk with you today and give you some no BS hiring advice. It's targeted toward hiring managers and HR professionals and small business owners who all tend to make the same mistake. And this mistake is real simple. Actually, it's two mistakes in one. Number one is you oversell the opportunity. Number two is you don't really speak to the, six, the challenges that someone may face in the job. Now, sometimes there's an overlap between the two, but often there are two distinct qualities here. Now, if you've noticed a pattern where your employees are disappointing you, where uh, you're having a lot of quick turnover, you may be overselling the job or underselling the uh, challenges that people will be facing in the role. Here's what I mean. If you have certain deliverables, for example, that you expect this person to fulfill, when you're interviewing them, talk about the challenges that they're going to face. Talk about the struggles they may run into. Be real clear about the role and responsibilities that they're going to have and how you're going to measure their success. Doing otherwise leads people to think, well, number one is when they come on board, they're open to drift because uh, they have no idea what the real target is other than to do tasks. Contextualize what the tasks are in the context of the business, the group, the division, whatever unit, business unit that you're hiring for. Secondly, you know, mince no words. Uh, don't hold back. You know, my, my philosophy in interviewing when I'm doing recruiting for organizations is I try to lay out the worst case scenarios for people. You know, if I watch them or listen to them shudder on the other end of the phone, I know I've got the wrong person because I'm laying out the worst scenario possible because it could happen. You need to do much the same sort of thing. You need to try and scare people off rather than, uh, shall we say, manipulate them or maneuver them into joining your firm only to have them disappointed and then fail. Failure should never be something that a new hire does, uh, particularly if you've understated uh, what they're going to be doing and what your expectations are. Better to, you know, to, to be more demanding in the interview. Push them hard when they come on board. Let them know what the challenges are that they're going to be facing from customers, from you, from their colleagues, uh, from people in the business, everything. Just let them know up front. And if they don't join, that's okay. Really, that's okay. Uh, because anyone else, uh, someone who joins uh, who's not prepared from the, for this is going to fail. So this is Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did and you're watching on YouTube, click the like button that's down below and let people know that this was helpful to you. It helps others. Frankly, it helps me with my ratings with YouTube. Now, I also want to remind you to come over to my website, which is TheBigGameHunter.net and sign up for a complimentary subscription to my e-zine, which is called No BS Hiring Advice. I publish it monthly with advice for business owners, HR professionals, and hiring managers designed to help you make even better hiring decisions. You can read some of the articles I've curated there. There's a lot of good information to help you with hiring. Uh, two final things, if I may. First of all, if we're not already connected on LinkedIn, send me a connection request. The address is linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash the big game hunter. I accept connection requests from people all over the world, except if you're a third party recruiter or are in a country that's known for scams or spam. Finally, are you trying to hire someone? Could you use some help with hiring? Uh, send me an email at the address below. Uh, let me know who to contact and whether or not I should mention your name. I'd love to help your firm staff some positions. This is Jeff Altman. I hope you have a great day.